Welcome back, everybody, to another exciting episode of The Devil's Lair. Um, I'm your host, Randy Meadows. I got a special uh, co-host tonight, uh, Mr. Mike Tucker. A lot of you probably know him. Uh, I used to term Mr. Loosely. Very, very loosely. <laughs> very loosely. Um, Todd's, uh, Todd's out this week, so uh, we got a backup. And, uh, you know, even though he is two of Todd, he this is still a two-man show. <laughs> I'm taking, look, I'm taking my jab that's yeah. I can, okay? Yeah, you might as well get them in while you can. That's early. right. That's right. So uh, uh, Mike is uh, not only a, a friend of mine and Todd's, but uh, he is the father of Ryan Tucker. I'm sure Ryan wants that to get out. I'm so. sure it is. <laughs> so, um, he, and not only that, he's a uh, Blue Devil supporter. So um, so thank you for being here today, Mike, and, and thank you for your time and, and helping us out today. Um <clears throat> Tiff County won another big game this week. They did. They uh -huh. uh, put some po points on the board. Yeah, they uh, scored some points. You know, and they scored in many different ways. Uh, Kickoff return, punts, uh, offense moved the ball. So it was it was Pretty. a good good tune up for what's what's coming. Yeah, that's right. A good good uh, complete game. Right. So um, we uh, just to summarize the game a little bit. We come out and. Uh, Houston took the ball down the field and kind of just scored on their opening drive and just put the ball That's in the right. end zone. And, uh, you know, everybody was like, I had people around me just saying, oh, man, it's going to be a long night and this kind of stuff. And then <clears throat> they went back down to kick off to us. And when they did, we ran it back. The Malik and, Henry show, it, come on. Yeah. Uh, three Maliks uh, uh, came alive, and Malik, Malik Henry took this one and took it back to the house for a score. So, um uh, really, special teams carried us all night, and it was a man. The crowd was pumped, and it was exciting, and it changed the game. That just that one. So not only did they do it once, I think they did it two more times, and Actually, had one call right, back. They had one call so back. Three special teams touchdowns. One that was overturned, and I didn't. I saw there was a flag on the field, but I didn't know why. And I, I never, I never seen why. They they threw the flag. Uh, Me, they called something. I don't even. Remember I, I do what it think was. they. It was a maybe a block in the back that they called across the field, which everybody knows. That's right. You want to? Yeah. There's a flag. It should be near the play or right. something. And but you know, hey, I'm not here to officiate. That's what I had to say Friday night. It's kind of hard not to sometimes. But, but it's easy to officiate in the stands. It's so easy, and so many people do it, qualified or not. That's so. Right. Um, but you know, that's an, that's another discussion for another day. So, um, so yeah, so Tiff County uh, wins 47-21 against the Houston County Bears. Looked good doing it. Malik Henry had another big night. Um, he's kind of been the uh, spark plug for us so far this year. Don't you agree? I agree. I mean, Malik, you know, last year, uh, I know he's hurt a good bit. Right. But this year he's come out of the gate and, uh, you know, every game so far has been on fire. Uh, and, if, and if you know Malik, Personally, as I do, I mean, I've seen him grow up through, you know, the, the rec ball times and then middle school because he's a grade ahead of my son. And, uh, you know, Malik is a very uh, respectable young man. Uh, you know, he, anyway, whether he's on the field or you see him, you know, out, off the field, like I said, he's very respectable, very, you could tell he has a lot of discipline at home. You know, so he... It's good to see a kid like that, you know, start getting the attention that he is he has been getting. Yeah, and and you know, we we all know that he's a good athlete, but you know, it, it just seems he deserves it so much and and True. it's it's good to see a, like you said a good kid get the spotlight. So, um congratulations to him and we hope he keeps up the good work. Oh, yeah. and, you know, we got another big game this week. So, um you know, he wasn't the only threat. You know, we uh, Ladarius Stewart had another uh, pretty big, big night. Um, I never got his totals on rushing. Um, I know he broke a hundred yards. I feel I thought he did. Now, don't don't hold me to that. But I thought I, I heard him say that he broke a hundred at some point in, in time. Um, I, I know on one drive I thought he had seventy two yards. So I would imagine he went over the hundred yard. Yeah, mark. I would think so. Um, he he he's really playing really well, and you know that goes to our offensive line. They're playing well right now. Right. Um, this week we've got uh, Worth County, so it's not 
you know, not to anything to scoff at. Scott, they got beat by Cook opening weekend. In overtime. In overtime. Double overtime. <clears throat> double was a double. I, I knew it was a close game, and I also had heard that they had fumbled the ball five times, yep. and two or three of them got scooped back up and run in for right. a touchdown. So they put it, you know, really they beat Cook the whole game and then beat themselves a little bit too yeah, while they right. were at it. So Worth is not going to be a pushover. So No, um, you know, last year, you know, it was – it was one side of TF blew them out, but uh, you know they've got some new coaches over there, uh, from what I understand. Yeah, and I think it's going to be you know if you think you, we're going to go to Worth County this week Friday night and run away with it, I, you know I, I know they've got something to say about it. Oh yeah, I promise they do. Uh, so I got ties over there too, and I, I mean I know quite a few people over there, but um, my wife works over there, so we're we're all loading up, taking the new baby over there Friday night. So that's going to be another. Another chore in itself, but um, we uh, uh, you know, so everybody pack up and go over there to uh, Worth County Friday night. We I think the game is listed as starting at eight in the program last Friday night. I think so, but actually it starts at seven thirty. I did so. hear I've got some family. Uh, bless her soul, she married a guy from Worth County. And we won't <laughs> hold that against her. Yeah, that's right. But we were, I was talking to him this weekend, and they said it did start at seven thirty. Yeah, so it's so. a seven thirty start. So make sure that you get over there. Um, after I do, so that me and my family have a place to sit. Um, so, um, <laughs> but it starts at seven thirty. I don't know what time you need to start getting there, but we're gonna be there early. So yeah, I'm planning on being there early too. We, yeah, uh, we're gonna go over and see if we can't go put another one in the wind column. Yeah, I think I think we got the ability to. So, um, also tonight, you know, there there was another a pretty a key every week into our into our offense, and that's uh, Wedgworth, Ryan Wedgworth. Just encourage everybody to hang on tonight because when we get done with, with our portion, we're going to roll an interview we did with him. Um, and uh, pretty pretty interesting little interview. He, uh, he's he got a lot of good things going on. So stay tuned and hang out for that. So um, <clears throat> we uh, – Wedgworth had 60 yards on nine carries and had a touchdown Friday night, so he did good. Tiff County had 265 yards in, in rushing yards in the whole game. Stewart had 130 with two scores is what I got here. So um, we're running the ball really well. We didn't pass the ball yeah. very well. No, th this Friday night we did not now. You go back up a week, and, uh, you know, he threw the ball you know, a lot better that week. Well, if you can go down the yard, the field, yeah. 265 rushing yards, you don't. how much do you, you don't have, have to, to throw the football? That's right. So, um, but this I don't week, think you really threw the ball attempted that many times. Uh, I don't know what the official stats were, but I remember after the game, uh, you know, they were saying that he didn't have that many we, pass we were, attempts. Uh, on the whole night, we were two for eight for 17 yards yeah. with an interception. And uh, Michael Hancock had the bulk of the, the passes. So. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> like I said, you know, um, why? Why you don't need to throw it? Then no, if you can run, if the they ball, can't stop the run, why you don't have to throw it? Right. So, um, but you know that'll change this week. Worth County, uh, I, I hear they run like a five-three defense. They have five down linemen, um, three backers. So that's um, <clears throat> two high safety and uh, corner. It, it just, I don't know about that. That's just a little different. I don't know what's going to transpire. Something tells me they won't play that against us. Well, you know, if you do, I mean, you got basically if you run the five three. You got eight guys in the box, yeah. so you're gonna have to throw the ball to open up your run game. Yes, yeah, you're gonna have to do something to to get that that yeah to open up the run game. Um, surely they won't come out eight in the box against us, but hey, I hope they hey, do. Maybe they do, and we pick them. Maybe yeah. maybe he'll throw for three hundred yards this week. That's right. It yeah. would excite me to see yeah. that happen. So maybe run for about three hundred. Yeah, that'd be, well, nice, that'd be too. nice. So. But we'll take what we can get. I like. I'm, I'd like to see a big night out of the defense. Four, and, you know, we can score three more times on special teams. You know, it don't matter how you score as long as you score. That's right. I agree. I agree. So, um, big win for the uh, Blue Devils uh, Friday night with another game lurking. So, um, anything? Did anything stand out to you in that game? Did you take anything away from it? Tuck? Uh, you know, just it, it looks like the offensive line is. Is moving, making more holes. You know, they. That's one of the things that you start off early, and you know the team needs to progress every week. And you know, you, you're starting to see.
from the scrimmage game to this week. This is a, that was a third game, you know, including the scrimmage game. But, you know, you want to see improvements. That's the reason you play these early non-region games, to work some kinks out here and there. Uh, you know, you, you want to keep getting better. So in a couple of weeks when we hit region, you know, that, that's the games that matter. Shoot, yeah. Um, you know, you, you win in region, and then you get to play. You know, you, you go to your playoffs. Uh, but, you know, you kind of use these as a tune-up. Uh, I mean, you know, anything can happen in these games with the teams around here. I mean, you know, Lowndes had the team come down here last week from Atlanta area. Newton beat them. Newton, Newton beat them. Uh, so you don't on any any given Friday night anybody can be beat. That's right. Uh, but you know we, <coughs> we need to get some momentum and you know by scoring, you know the points that we have scored. Uh, I think the kids are fired up. So it seems like they are. You know, um, and then we've got naysayers out there, and we don't like naysayers around here. But I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this up. Naysayers just talking about yeah, well you only beat Westover in Houston County, so um, which is true. But, mm -hmm. but you know what? Kids can't help. That's the schedule they were given. That's right. They went out there and played their butts off, and they've done a phenomenal job so far. Big game against Worth. Um, the only thing that scares me, though, Mike, is we got Thomas County Central next week, and I just don't want anybody to overlook looking ahead. You know, look ahead games. They Corso and the guys at ESPN talk about look ahead games, right. and that that could be this could be one of them, man. I'm telling you, that's what scares me the most. So maybe uh, we'll have our head screwed on straight, and uh, I guarantee we will because Coach Reed will uh, assure us of that. I think so. so. Um, Thomas County Central, um, Worth County was off last week. I told you about their their game against Cook. Right. Uh, I, I am going to not – not I'm going to look ahead because I don't get in trouble when I do. But uh, I say I am. Oh, well, I can't pull it up. I'll look ahead later. But Tiff County's got Worth, Thomas County Central, and then Coffee in our first mm -hmm. region game. Then obviously we start our region after the Coffee and everything else will be region games. So um, a lot of football coming up and a lot of football going on. So good luck to the guys this week. Like we said, make sure you get out there, get out there early. We're going to bring a, a big crowd. We always do over there typically. So um, <clears throat> if you can't get in on our side, let's uh, infiltrate the, the home side because right. they'll have plenty of seats over there. That's so. Right. Um, you know, that's another thing I noticed. Uh, the crowd last week's game, it seemed like it was a lot bigger than the previous week. And that's something, you know, when we can pack our sides out, uh, our home side, you know, the kids feed off of that. Mm -hmm. uh, when, you know, when you go in and you play in front of a packed house, it fires them up. They play better ball. So, that's right. you know, let's take a big crowd to Worth County Friday night and show that we are behind them. Yeah, definitely. You know, Definitely. Um, I was impressed with the, the f f few people that Houston brought with them. I was, yes. I mean, it wasn't the biggest crowd I've ever seen there, but there was a lot of folks there. I was like, good gracious. So. Yeah, they brought, and one thing, you know, you asked me a while ago if anything stood out. I noticed on Facebook, uh, going back to Malik Henry, they was after the game, and don't know what was said, but Malik <clears> Henry was standing on, you know, in the field, and one of the Houston County coaches had come up to him. And, uh, you know, I'm sure because both of them were smiling and you could tell they was joking in the pictures I saw. And from what I have understand, you know, he was congratulating him on, you know, the kickoff return and the uh, punt returns that he had. Uh, you know, because eventually they got to where they didn't kick the ball to him. Right. Yeah. So, they, you know, they don't kick it to Malik number two, but they kick it to, and I, I can't, I don't know his name. Malik Johnson, Malik uh, Henry. It's number Malik. 20. Uh I That's Ladarius too. Ladarius, boo. You know, so I mean, you either get poison number one or you get poison number two. <laughs> That's right. So uh, That's a good problem to have for Coach Reed, especially. Uh, anytime you can have kids on there that's that's fighting for a position uh, that talented, you know, it makes coaching it makes it harder, but it makes it easier too. Yeah, definitely, I agree, man. So things are up in the in the right direction. So maybe we can keep that momentum going. So um, <clears throat> that is. Uh, I, we know well, me and Todd used to do quarters on here. We'd have a quarter, a quarter. We'd have a halftime type thing, quarter, okay. quarter, end of the game type thing. So basically that's going to be the end of the first quarter, and we're going to uh, start in our second quarter, and that's going to be kind of preview of what went on in the region last week. Okay. So um, I'm going to look at the region games last week. We had uh, – start with Brunswick. They were off last week. They've got the Ware County Gators this week. Um, 
you want the whistle? No, nah, no, nah, you don't have to whistle me. That's okay. <clears throat> um, because we hadn't done it. That's why we haven't done it up to now. So, um, but yeah, we've got the. Uh, so they've got they lost they won against Glen Academy a couple of weeks ago. This week they got Ware County. They were off, and then this week they got Ware. So that'll be an interesting game to see how they play against uh, Ware. Um, I'm gonna pull up coffee schedule. Yeah, normally Ware's got you know that group from Waycross got a pretty good football program. Um, yeah, they typically do. Oh my goodness, let me. How did I skip that? Um, they they really do. Um, their coach is one of the better guys I've been around, and I don't. I'm not. I'm not fond of too many coaches. So, um, he he's one of the better people I've been around on the football field. But he, uh, they they where played coffee last week, and I'm not sure how that turned out. But I'm about to tell you. In my notes, I the the only thing I didn't pull over was coffee's um. Score. Score. Coffee's information. So I'm going to make that happen right now because I have technology at my fingertips, mm. Mike Tucker. Technology. I don't know how to use it. Well, but as it's long as you have it. I have it. That's right. So well, it looks like they might play them. No, they won 38 to 13 over where. Wow. So they, they beat Cook in a scrimmage, beat Whitewater. Both of them were playoff teams. And then beat Ware County, a third playoff team. Um, and then this week they get Burke County, Burke County Bears. That's up in Burke County. Um, they are, I don't know what they finished last year. They're a perennial uh, powerhouse in Burke County. Uh huh. I want to think they made it. I, I know think they did. Deep in the playoff, but I want to think they made it to the. To I think the they went one or two deep this year. Now, two um, years ago, I think they made it to the championship game, okay. if I'm not mistaken. Um, but they're they're in the 4A, and they're a pretty good team. Then they get Monday's Meal um, the following week, so that's a 5A game. Mm-hmm. And then they get us. So um, Which is going to be bad news. Yeah, exactly. So they've got a they got kind of a tough schedule. So it's going to be interesting how how deep how Coffee can make it. They've got a quarterback that's hurt. Um, they did pick Brandon Rowe back up, who right. was there, came here, went back there. So. Um, but that's where they're at. So, um, and you know what, Robbie Pruitt going over there from Fitzgerald, you knew he was going to take that program and go forward with it. Oh yeah, um, definitely. Because everywhere he's been, he has been a winner. That's right. Uh, Camden plays uh, or played uh, Savannah uh, Johnson out of Savannah, uh, beat them fifty-five nothing. That's played a junior. Yeah, team. you know, they play. That's right. Yeah, that was their old region they come out of mm-hmm. that they and dominated. That team now is a triple-A school. Right. And they got Beach out of Savannah in their triple-A school this week. So they should pummel them, and they get Valdosta next week. So they're they're ramping up for region play. But, you know, I watched Camden's game when they played in the Dome in the Corky Corky Kill, Kill? Mm-hmm. kickoff. And, you know, they lost that game. Mm-hmm. And uh, to me, they just... I don't know, I don't know what it was, new coaching or what it was, but they just did not look like, you know, the, the big bad Camden team that that everybody is so accustomed to seeing. <coughs> um, so you know, it's going to be interesting this year to see what they do too. When you lose a coach like they had, he, I mean, I don't think he brought swagger, but man, he'd been there for a while and has accomplished some things. Right. And it kind of gives you that we can't be beat. Well, then you bring in a new guy. Granted, he's been there a while, but he still ain't. He still is not coach. Um, right. I can't remember his, his Jeff name. Aaron. Jeff, yeah, coach Jeff. He's still not coach Jeff. So it's going to take them a few years to get there. I think so. It's going to take a couple of region wins for them but to really only, get that. that yeah, not only back. did they lose the head coach Heron, but they were some of the assistants left because well, actually one of them is at Worth County uh, now. Are they? Yeah, if I'm that. not mistaken, he is the offensive coordinator over there. Okay. Well, there um, you go. That's what they run. So yeah. that's their offense. So. Well, that'll be interesting. So they get um, they got two weeks before they hit Valdosta. Valdosta's a horse this year, so it's going to be interesting. Look what they done to Brook County. Yeah, I know. Um, Lowndes County, they got beat this week. We talked about that in Newton. Um, I heard on the radio a lot about referees and officials, and but, but then I also Lyons heard – Well, you know, um, you, it wasn't a Valdosta fan, I'll no, tell you that. It was, not a wildcat. <laughs> so uh, Windsor Forest come in. 
Uh, they got Windsor Force coming in this week, and they should beat up on Windsor Force. They should. That'll be a good rebound game. Um, then they get Hardaway, and then they get Colquitt. So we'll see in a few weeks what Lounge is made of. Um, let's go Valdosta. Um, we said they they played Brooks Brook County one fifty to twenty. Yeah, and that's that shot because usually Brooks has got a Brooks beat them last year. Yeah, Brooks has normally got a pretty good team. But I know early, I've got a good friend of mine that's in Valdosta that is a Wildcat fan. And, uh, you know, on Friday nights we text back and forth. And he texts me early in the game. And, uh, well, I say early. It was probably first quarter, maybe started the second quarter. And that game was was close. And then for Valdosta to score the points they had. But, you know, you back up to Valdosta two weeks ago when they played Thomas County Central. They was getting beat by two touchdowns. Uh, with about three minutes to go and come back and won that game. So Well, you know, Brooks is Brooks beat Clinch um to open the season twenty six fourteen. They turned around and beat Monroe forty eight fourteen. And then they lost to Valdosta twenty to fifty. So um they get Mitchell County this week, which I don't know I'm gonna look and see how Mitchell County is this year. They're kind of hit or miss over there. They've lost two games to Clinch and Pelham. I think Pelham's the better team over there. I think so, so too. Um, but you know that Brooks is going to be good. They're going to be good, especially in that division in that league. So um, you know they had the tragedy over there this year yeah. with the kids in the the wreck and all that. So I mean, it's hard for anybody to play with Valdosta, much less Brooks, from a stamina standpoint, size, yeah. and that kind of stuff. So um, so we'll see. So. Um, where were we at? Valdosta. What did we say? Or didn't the Brooks? They got Crisp this week. Valdosta does. Crisp won last week against Cook they in did. overtime. They did. Um, I don't think they're going to come close to beating Valdosta. But, I don't think so either. But they get them. They're on the schedule. I didn't think Newton would beat them But they got a either. shot. Yeah, I didn't think Newton could beat them either. But uh, here's the kicker. Next week, guess who Valdosta gets? Newton. So they can play spoiler. Uh, you know, I'm sure Lowndes is wanting Valdosta to go up there and just beat them up there in their their backyard. Because oh. uh, Valdosta's got four away games uh, starting this week. So it's going to be a tough game. Then they get to come home to Tiff County, the undefeated Tiff County Devils in uh, a few weeks. So it's going to be it's going to be something else, buddy. This uh, region and, and non-region schedules are just kind of all over the place. So... Cockle County Packers, they probably got the toughest schedule in the country. They get Carver Columbus this week at home. Which is a good <clears throat> they're a good triple A school. Right. Um who's the Georgia running back that got in trouble? Uh, Weapons charges. That's where he went to school at. It it's is. Carver. Um, um, see, that's how quick I forgot his name. If it is if his name isn't Gurley or Marshall, I don't know him. So that's right. Um anyways, but he he was there at Carver Columbus, gone there. For, from there, obviously, and that's who they get. Moultrie gets this week, so they get them at home. They should beat them pretty handily, I would imagine. But then next week they get Lowndes, so kind of another look ahead game. Look you got to be careful. Yeah. Um, those guys, you don't ever know what Cockwood team you're gonna get early in the season. You, you know, you know what you're gonna get in the last few weeks of the season. But you know that, that's the thing about Moultrie's team. They they usually start off slow for whatever reason. Yeah, but pro down there, Moultrie has got them kids believing that once you know they get to playoff, I mean to region time, and especially playoff time, that they can beat him. You know, last year they went to Atlanta four weeks in a row, and um, handle business for the most know, part. It's, you know. <laughs> he's done a good job down there, and you know they'll be ready when they get to to the region. Old Probst is uh he's a guy you love to hate. He's a little different. He is. He is. I, I like him. I think he's oh, all I right. Think. So, <clears throat> just to give you a little uh, backstory on Carver, they are uh, they're two and zero. Oh. They beat Spencer, which I think is over in Columbus, forty mm-hmm. to three, and then Shaw, which is over that way, forty eight twenty four. So, they get Cockwood on the road, and then they play Tri Cities, Pike County, Henry County, Southwest Macon, Central Macon, Peach County, and Jackson. So, them guys have got some miles to put on the. Uh, the old bus. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that region had changed that much. So, so Colquitt, let me go back to my Colquitt. Colquitt gets Carver, Lowndes, and then us. So maybe they can 
get hurt the next two weeks. Did I say that? I don't. Not think, I don't want. Did, ki- I don't want kids nothing. to get hurt. That ain't what I want. There's a difference of hurt and injured. There's a big difference. Injured's True. serious. Hurts. You get your feelings hurt. If you get your fe- feelings injured, then it's you. You need some <laughs> deeper therapy, right? That's right. So, um, so that's where we're at in the region. Where everybody's going on big games. Football's in the air. Um, <clears throat> a lot of things going on. So. Anything you want to talk about, mention about? Well, one thing, you know, it's not in our region or anything, but the Fitzgerald and Osceola. Did you hear about that? I mean, it, if, I promised people at work I wouldn't talk about it. Well, I didn't promise nobody, so I can talk about it. You sit over there and let me talk. <laughs> but, you know, uh, Osceola was up 20-7, to 7, I believe, in the fourth quarter. And, you know, Fitzgerald come back and tied it 20 all, and they actually missed the extra point to win the ball game. And then, you know, I think I read in the paper that, uh, Irwin County has not beat them in 13 years, and uh, so well, they the, still have it. <laughs> well, no, but I mean, if if you hadn't beat, I mean, Fitzgerald has has put some beatings on Irwin County Indians over the years. Uh, so I mean, you know, I, I know in a non-region game that the coaches decide before the game whether we're gonna play it out or just let it in the end of the time. Where sure, did you read that at? You had, somebody had to put that in the paper yeah, or something. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Can't tell all my tricks. Oh my goodness! But uh, you have learned a little something. Well, I have learned something. You have schooled me somewhere. <laughs> but you know, it, I guess the Fitzgerald coach thought, well, you know, we beat them thirteen years in a row. There's no sense, and because we're we'll take care of business. But I mean, if you're, a, I know it's a tie on in the root, the record book, but that's you know, how do you look at it? I mean, do you, <laughs> if you're an Irwin County fan, do you look at that? Well, <laughs> yeah. we tied them, <laughs> no. or. You take yeah. morals, moral victories. I don't like moral I don't victories, like moral but victories. you got to take one. Let's flip the coin and see who gets the ball first. And you know, if you beat yeah, me, you beat me. That's right. Uh, you know, anytime you keep scoring anything, there should not be a tie. It, it kills me, man. All the football games that I do and it, I've done, you, that's what you have to ask them. If it's a non-region game, you know, you understand that it's up to you to decide. If, mm-hmm. And a lot of coaches will be like, hey, whatever he wants to do. So. That's it. The first one, the the we go to the second one. Coach, what do you want to do? And then whatever he says, that's what we're going to do. So, um, but it's crazy to me. Very rarely do you get guys say, "No, I don't want to play." Now it depends on who they play the next week. Yeah, that has a lot to do with it too. So if it's non-region and you got a big region game coming, you know. But still, you're talking about a town that's or two towns, cities that's nine miles apart. Yeah, you know, maybe from a safety standpoint, that is such a nasty rivalry that. Even though Fitzgerald beats him every year, it, it's it's so nasty. Maybe he didn't want to get his kids hurt. He didn't want to play them no more than he had to. Yeah, that's a possibility. So maybe he's smarter. Than, maybe that's why he's coaching and we're not. <laughs> we're maybe he about knows. It. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's easy to, to coach from the sideline or in the stands. I know it is. I know it is. So, well, that is a that is a an interesting. I just can't believe that that happened. To be honest with you, we know. I just. Even, I don't think Fitzgerald is as bad as people are making them out to be after this weekend. You know what I mean? I think, <clears throat> I, I, I agree with you. I mean, it's, because uh, I best I can remember the games they've played before. I'm pulling game, them up now. Uh, have not been that big of a. Well, they got beat by Jefferson County, who is was in the playoffs. Maybe mm-hmm. one state or was in championship last year. Um, <clears throat> they beat Emanuel County Institute in the scrimmage, um, and then they tied Irwin. They get Monroe this week, Charlton County the next week, and Pelham. So those are three pretty big opponents. Monroe's a, a 4A school. You know, Charlton's a single A. Pelham, and, Pelham, and, Pelham, Cook, Brooks, Barry, and Early, Thomasville. That's a good region, man. That's it is. A, a very That's a com- tough region. It's a very competitive region, and, uh, I don't know. It might be a little tougher than, than normal this year for the Hurricanes. So, Thomasville's got a solid squad in that region. They do. They uh, they lost to TCC, but beat Cairo 21-10 and then beat Stewart County, which we could maybe find eight guys to go beat Stewart County. So, they get Westminster at home this week, and then following week, Cook at home and Brooks at home. So, it's an interesting little scenario in that region, man. And I know we're the devil's lair talking about devil football, but, um, I, you know, I like to highlight all of it, man. I like to let everybody know about what's going on. Um, 
you know, because I like some of the rivalries over the years. Oh, we yeah. played Fitzgerald a few times. Oh, yeah. I love that we play Worth County. You know, a lot of times we're better than they are, but there's been years when they've That's, been better than us. Two years ago, they was better than us. That's right, man. We went so, over there, and they, uh, you know, of course, we phoned the ball several times, but, you know, still, I mean, you make excuses for anything, but, you know, when that final whistle went off, you know, the school boys said Worth County beat Tiff County. Yep. So... That's exactly right. So we've got a lot, a lot, lot going on. So um, outside of football, is there anything else that uh, you want to hit on, talk about, touch on, talk about? No. Uh, yeah. yeah um, you want to talk about the, our fundraiser for Rice I didn't want to be the one to bring it oh, up. You, so you, you, that was my cue to bring it up. Yes, it was. That was okay. called a uh, segue. And you, okay. You well, hey, I remember I'm the rookie here, so <laughs> just uh, – Point me in the wrong direction. For an uneducated dude, you're doing pretty good. Well, very uneducated. Exactly. So, school best, of hard knocks, buddy. Well, you know, the best four years of my life was the third grade. So. Yes, there you go. <laughs> but no, we are we're actually, uh, you know, with school budgets like they are, you know, I, they the money for sports is is being cut. So every every program out there is, is trying to raise what money you can. And one thing that Randy and myself is, and some more guys, William Dillard. Uh, Don't man, give man, nobody I, else no credit. Oh, it's no, all no, us. Okay. It's all us. But uh, we've come up with the idea of raffling off a Yeti cooler. You know, Yeti is the hot cooler right now. And for $5, you can buy a raffle ticket. Or, you know, big spenders you can get 5 for 20 bucks. Uh, we do sell them at our home games. You can contact myself or Randy, uh, William Dillard. We've all got tickets. Uh, but, you know, that's just money that is going to go back into our wrestling program to try to help that program. I know right now we're in football season, but we're trying to look ahead to that because you can never st – too early to start fundraising. That's right. Uh, you know, it takes a lot of money to run up down these highways to these different things, uh, you know, whether it's football, baseball, wrestling, basketball. And, uh, you know, with Booster Club members, you know uh, – it, it, it takes us all to get these kids where they need to be. That's right. That's exactly right. So um, <clears throat> look for us all at the uh, football games. Kind of hard to miss, I mean. Yeah. Uh, we're big and blue. You can't can't miss us. We do blend in sometimes. Um, I'd hate to see the crowd we blended into. <laughs> we, we've got uh, – we, we have raffle tickets. Uh, we've got the light-up Blue Devil horns that are very popular. We had them there last week. Mm -hmm. Um, we're gonna have them. Up. Yeah, we're gonna have a, we're gonna have more of those come the next home game. So um, we will not run out. Uh, there will be plenty. Um, make sure your kids get them. They love them. They're nice. Uh, you know, it it was it was fun walking up through the stands and seeing all these little devil mm -hmm. horns flashing everywhere. So um, it's kind of exciting, and I, I promise the players will see that too. So um, got that going on. We've got. Uh, Golf tournament October 26th at the Golf Club of South Georgia. Um, our friends up there, uh, Mr. Chip Rainey and them, are letting us uh, have the facility for the day. And we're going to hopefully put on a junior clinic that morning, start teeing off around 1. Uh, don't worry, Georgia's off that weekend. And anything else in college football really doesn't matter. So Watch out now. That, that will be the week before the Georgia-Florida game. So... Um, uh, we have a website set up, and uh, I meant to get that to put it out here to give to you, Donovan, and I forgot. So I will get that. It'll be in our lower third, which is down down here somewhere, and um, uh, be a website, a link where you can get to it and go and, and sign up. We need sponsorship for that. Uh, plenty of uh, return on investment for a sponsorship as far as from a marketing standpoint. Obviously, I will sit here and babble about your business. Um, Mike will babble about if, your business. If I'm invited back, I will babble. Okay, you know. well, Mike might not be back, but Todd will be back and talk about me. We it got might that. be we got... me and Todd next week. It might know? be him and Todd next week. So, so you never know. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Twitter, LinkedIn, linked, linked out, Instagram. What am I missing? Social media. Google Plus, Google Minus. Google divisible by all these social media outlets, man. We've got uh, uh, marketing uh, opportunities, radio, TV, newspaper, um, 
you name it, we got it. So uh, please help sponsor this tournament. Again, it's going for a group, about 150 kids that are, um, a lot of them just honestly are economically challenged to exactly. uh, just use a, a PC term right there. Uh, it's an ugly word. I don't like using it, economically challenged, but unfortunately that's where it's at. If it wasn't for us, a lot of these kids wouldn't even eat. So please help us. We need help getting this uh, handled and done, and it takes all of us to make it happen. So um, outside of that, I'm going to quit babbling about our raffle and Yeti Cooler and golf tournament and Blinky Devil, Devil Horns. So mm -hmm. um, with that, I guess I'm going to try to wrap up the show a little bit. Um, We've uh, had another good week. Again, we encourage you to go out to the Worth County game this week. Uh, I need some information on volleyball. we got a volleyball team now. For those who do not know, um, no. girls softball is going on too. And I, I, yeah, I need to call Coach Ivy and get her to uh, give me that information. But I don't even know who's coaching the volleyball team. So. It is uh, yeah. Taylor Wilkes, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. I didn't know that. I think he took over last year's head coach. I thought uh, he does softball, though. So I'm talking about softball. Oh, 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 oh you're talking oh, oh, about volleyball. volleyball. I have no idea. Yeah, okay. My teenager could tell me. I'm sure he can, so we'll get on that. And uh, anyway, so uh, get out and support us. Uh, be at the game Friday nights. Buy something from somebody underneath the stands because they're selling popcorns, T-shirts. And that and all goes back to Booster Club, Back too. to the Booster Club, I mean, that's right. So Yeti Cooler, um, you name it, we got it. So anyways... Mike, I appreciate you being here, filling in for Todd. Um, I had fun. Yeah, it's Enjoyed it's it. even we, if I did have to hang out with you. Exactly, it could be worse or worser, depending on where you're from. I don't know. And I had to uh, see that scenario first. And if I didn't enjoy your company, I'm sure Donovan has. Okay. And well, uh, well, somebody has. Exactly. So, tell your wife I'm sorry that I'm gonna carry did, you back home here in a little bit. Oh uh, wait a minute, now who rode with who? I, I got them. my keys in my truck. Oh, my gosh. I better be nicer so, to you. So, I mean. <laughs> so, all right. So, we're going to get out of here. We're going to leave. Remember, hang around. Watch uh, Ryan Wedgeworth's uh, uh, interview and um, support us. Get pumped up Friday night. And let's go beat those Rams. So, until next week, uh, we'll see you here at 7 o'clock live. Join our chat room. We do have a chat room. Want to make you aware of that. We never say that. So, our various social medias, I'm not going into them. You can find us. Um, We'll see you next week. Until then, fear the pitchfork. All right, everybody. I got uh, Ryan Wedgeworth here, uh, star quarterback for the Tiff County Blue Devils, uh, premier signal caller in the league. Uh, Ryan, welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, we're glad you made it today. Um, if you will, just tell everybody a little bit about yourself, uh, kind of how you got to Tiff County, because you're not a Tiff County native. So um, if you could, just tell us a little bit about yourself, maybe what grade you're in. and what, that I'm kind of a stuff. senior this year. Wonderful. And um, I came over here from Raleigh, Mississippi. I was here up until the third grade, then I left and came back halfway through my sophomore year because my parents lived here. Sure. And I figured they had a pretty good coach coming in, so I'd come over. Come over and play yeah. for Coach Reed. So, yeah, we all like Coach Reed, and he's he's doing a great job. So, um, we're glad you're here to be a part of it. Now, um, you said you come from Mississippi. So, what are the big differences between Mississippi football and Georgia football? Um, well, over there I was at a three A school, so it was a lot smaller than the one I'm at now. But really, other than that, there's really nothing. No, the football's any football. Yeah. yeah, X's and O's are X's yep. and O's, aren't they? So. Same thing. Well, well, good. Um, are styles any different? What kind of style did you come from over there? Well, we what? ran a veer option over there. It was just okay. an under center option. We just run a shotgun option over here. It's not Certainly. just a whole lot different. Yeah, right, definitely. So um, you, uh, how, how would you describe yourself as a football player? Not necessarily a QB or a safety or just as a football in general. Just more of a physical athlete. A physical athlete? Yes, I would agree with that. Um, before I ever saw you play, uh, that's what I heard about. I said, that kid, that kid will knock you. So I said, well, that's my kind of guy. So, um, well, good. Um, you said you, that you're a senior. So you were here last year for the full yes, sir. season, the right? Full season. Well, that's good. Um, and then, obviously, you'll be here this year for yes, your full sir. season. What are your plans after high school? Do they involve football? Yes, sir. Um, I'd like to go to a college and play football. Okay. That's really about all I've got planned. That's that's it. That's, that's your it. one that's desire. Do you play any other sports besides football? No, sir. 
Good. Do you have any other extracurricular activities that you are a part of? I yes, say. Good. You're focused on football. 100%. That's why Reed likes you right there. You're a football guy, man. There's nothing wrong with that. That's awesome, man. Um, what team do you cheer for? Ole Miss. Ole Miss. Yes, sir. Who's Ole Miss play this week? I think Auburn. I'd have to look at the schedule. No, I hadn't looked at it either. I was just seeing if you knew. Um, what do you think about Ole Miss this year? They look pretty good from what I've seen of them. Yeah. Hopefully they'll climb the ranks. But Well, let me ask you this. What's a typical Saturday for you? So we say we just come off a victory Friday night. What do you do on Saturday? Wake up and go to our film session. Mm -hmm. Go back home, lay in bed, and watch football until I fall asleep again. Man, nothing wrong with that. That's kind of what I do, really. <laughs> you can ask my wife. She hates me when I do that. So um, what's your favorite protein? Just steak. Who? Steak. Steak. Yeah. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. What uh, What players do you admire most and why? Probably the Mannings, just because they're just freakish athletes. They are. They play yeah. each other this week, yeah. oddly enough. That's going to yeah. be... That's gonna be fun right there. Um, if uh, which which one do you would you rather? I mean, I guess you'd like to be like either one of them. I guess would be okay with you. But even I think all the whole Manning family, even the mom, is athletic and gifted. Yeah. So uh, um, I guess it would be nice to be like any one of them. But do you pull for one harder? Not like this week they're playing each other. Who would you pull for in that game? Probably Peyton. Peyton. Yeah, yeah. it's hard not to like Peyton Manning. He's he's what's right about football, yeah. ain't it? Well, good. Um, uh, on Friday night, I saw you on the uh, sideline, and um, our special team scored a touchdown. Mm -hmm. And I saw you just getting pumped up, and and, and it got everybody excited. What uh, what gets you excited during football? You know, like some people, you know, obviously scoring is exciting, but there might be little small things that kind of trigger you to get you excited. Just when people run over people, people just I, say, I love it. Just lowering the shoulder. Yeah. Right, the, well, you can't lower the helmet, no. but uh, the shoulder you can, and and uh, just bowling somebody yes, over. Sir. Nothing bigger than that is there. Mm -mm. I agree, and you do a lot of that, don't you? Yeah, I try to. So when you when you're out in the open field and there's a defender coming at you, do you go after him or do you let him come to well, you? Well, just depends on how close I am to the end zone. <laughs> I might try to avoid him if I have a chance of scoring, but if we're on the twenty, I just try to plow through him. I love it. That is awesome. Um, I saw some kids this Friday night that were kind of along the fence line, and uh, they, they reached out to, to give you a high five, and everybody was coming down and slapping the kids high five going down the line after I think we scored and, and whatnot. Um, I, I think that's huge. We need more kids to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what do you do? You feel like giving back is a, is a big part of what we do at Tiff County and yeah. and getting our kids in, in, involved and excited about football. Yeah, I do because if it it starts there, really. I mean, if you don't have a good foundation in the lower grades when they come up, you can't just make them out of nothing. That's that's right. So, um, well, good. I'm glad you guys do that, and we we appreciate it. Um, you know, I don't I don't have a kid that age yet, but uh, I can see the excitement in those kids' eyes, man, and that makes me happy and excited. And it's like you said, it's the foundation, man. Those kids are gonna grow up and wanna play quarterback yeah. and run over somebody yeah. and that kind of stuff. So, so good. Thank you. Um, what is your favorite subject in school? Probably math. Math? Oh, yeah. my goodness. You're lying, aren't you? No. It's not lunch. It's not PE. It's not math. math. Okay. Who's your favorite teacher at school? Probably either Mr. Winger or Mr. Moore. Winger or Moore. I don't know either one of them, I don't guess. And they're probably the best ones in the school. Well, good. You got good grades in your class? Yes, sir. Well, I'm out of them now, but I had them. You had them. Okay. Yes, you still keep in contact with them? And, oh, yes, sir. Well, that's good. Well, um, what you said your favorite subject is math, favorite teacher. Um, you have two. Um, we asked you about your extracurricular activities or, and whatnot. Um, I got a big question for you. A lot of controversy around this topic. And if you don't want to talk about it, I understand. Mm -hmm. But what do you think about the new uniforms? I love them. You love them? Yeah, I love them. I mean, they're just... I'm not, I wasn't here for the tradition, so I can't really say I was a big part of it. So, I mean, I really have no reason to go against the new uniforms. That's right. But but you are a part of it. That's the yeah. thing. I mean, you really are. Um, I agree with you. I think that 
this is your tradition. You're starting, yeah. and you guys are taking the ball and going with it. Mm-hmm. And um, if you guys are excited, then we should be excited. And so all these old men and women out here who yeah. these traditionalists need yeah. to sit back and, and let us play in these new uniforms. Yeah. We're off to a good start so far, aren't yeah, we? So far. <laughs> yeah, well, good. Keep up the good work. So, um, favorite food? Pizza or steak. <laughs> Pizza or steak. Yeah. Good God. Um, what, uh, what are, do you eat pizza and steak during football season? Um, I try to eat a lot of meats. Do we you? had pizza last night, actually, but I try to eat a lot of meat. Just yeah, meat. a lot of proteins yeah. and stuff. So, well, good. I didn't know how how hard you trained and, and what stuff like that during during the season. So, yeah. um, I come from a wrestling family, and it was, you know, you got to watch your weight and all this yeah. kind of crazy mess. There are certain things we couldn't eat at our house. So, um, well, good. Um, if the cheerleaders let you design the breakout sign, what would you put on there? Uh. I'm not real creative, so probably just a big pitchfork that says devils. <laughs> okay, that, that's good. I mean, I, I just didn't know. I, I, that would always be my goal. If I was you, you'd be like, man, maybe one day they'll let me decide what goes on that big sign we run through all the time. So, um, awesome. What legacy do you think that uh, you will leave on Tiff County football or have left on Tiff County football? What do you want people to say about you when you're gone away from this program? Hey, more than anything, I just want to say that's that quarterback that would knock somebody out. <laughs> They're already saying that, yeah. so you're well on your way, man. Um, in my days uh, at, at Tiff County, we always wanted to beat Valdosta. Um, we wanted to beat everybody, but we really wanted to beat Valdosta. I don't see Valdosta as our biggest rival. I see, I've see. i always seen Colquitt as our biggest mm-hmm. rival. Who do you think our biggest rival is? Well, this year, it's probably not Colquitt. It's probably Coffee County. Probably Coffee. Yeah. I, and I've noticed over the years it's kind of transitioned towards yeah. them. Many years ago, they come over here and stomped on our tee. Yeah. And then we went over there and, well, we just we did some landscaping for yeah. them. We'll call it that. And so I've heard that that's kind of been the ongoing yeah. thing. So, uh they come to our house this year, yes, sir. a few weeks away, and uh, I hope to God they're not stomping on our team at the end of that game, yeah. okay? So I'm, I'm calling you out right now. We're going to handle business, right? Yes, sir. Awesome. I love it. So um, what team? Is there a team out there you wish you got to play every year that we don't? Mm, not really. Like I said, I haven't been here long enough to really, to really get a, yeah. a team like that. Yeah. So you just want to beat all of them, don't yeah, you? Just anybody in our schedule. You're becoming my guy. Ryan, you're becoming my guy. So, um, does Coach Reed ever smile during a football game? Yeah. Okay, I didn't know. We score, he smiles. (laughs) He has his back to us, so we can't always see it. So, I didn't know. I just, I had to ask. So, um, I guess my final question is, who wins in the foot race, Walt Dog or Jesse Snow? I don't know. Walt Dog might try to trip him up with his claw or something, so I might give it to Walt Dog. <laughs> Walt, Walt Dog won't play fair, will he? No, he won't. <laughs> that is that is funny. Um, I, and I know Jesse Snow, so he doesn't even know I'm messing with him, but uh, I can't wait till he finds out. He'll come after me for sure. He makes me look small, so I really yeah. probably shouldn't mess with him. But, uh, well, well, that's awesome, man. Um, uh, what... What what can you sum up for yourself as far as as this season? What are your expectations and your goals? Really, I just like to make it to playoffs. Something that Tiff County hadn't done in a long time. I just like to get my team to playoffs and take it from there. Yeah, um, we we've got some tools and some athletes in place where yeah. we can really make that happen. Yeah. Um, I know that you know we've had some things. You know, we lost Brandon, and yeah. you know. Hurts a little bit, but we can yeah, keep rolling, you know. Yeah, we rebuilt. I mean, that's right. It's we, over now. That's right, man. Next man up, and we'll yeah. keep going, and uh, and uh, we'll, we'll make some things happen. Uh, looks like coffee's going to be pretty good this year, yeah. so um, that's going to be our first region test, yeah. and we're and we're ready for it. But we don't want to look past Worth County this week for sure. Yeah, they've got a pretty solid yeah, season. You know, they've got some things going their way and whatnot, and obviously we do too. So we want to go out there this Friday and. Um, you know, handle business. Is there anything that you want to tell the people of Tiff County? Is there anything about the game that you or the fans that they can do or not do that will help us? Well, I'd like to see them get a little more hyped. A little more hyped, games. a little yeah, more pumped that's up. It. Everything okay. else they're doing perfect, but I just like to see them get a little more hype. Get a little more crunk up, right? Yep. 
And that is a word. I don't care what anybody says. Crunk is a word. So, well, good. Maybe you can help get people crunk up. Maybe. So, um, what what is special about Ryan Wedgworth? It's your time to to gloat and brag about yourself, and and it be okay. So, um, you don't you don't strike me as the type of kid to to pat you on back. But uh, it's your chance to. I want you to tell everybody what, what separates you from other players and other kids and other student athletes. Probably my loyalty to the team. Loyalty to the team. Yeah. Uh, you got any examples of, of your mean, loyalty? Anything that they need me to do, I'd do it. You do they it. They said that I need to sit out for the rest of the season because they think somebody's better, I'd do it. Just whatever it. they need, I'd do Wouldn't it. have a problem with it. Nope. You'll tell me the truth when we're off air, right? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. So, well, good, man. I think you're a phenomenal kid, a phenomenal athlete, student athlete. And, man, right here at the Devil's Lair, we wish you all the best and all the luck in the world um, uh, for the rest of the season and through life, man. Um, uh, one thing in Diff County that we're trying to do is build support for young men like you and young, uh, just young student athletes. And... Uh, it's like you said, more hype in the crowd. I think that we don't have enough of it either. Yeah. So it made me feel good that you said that. Um, we uh, we need more of it. So when you're over there, if you'll if you'll start pumping them arms, I swear I'll stand up and start pumping my arms with you. Okay, is that a deal? That's We're gonna shake on it right yes, here. We're gonna do that then. So uh, we'll do it together. Um, I guess I'm gonna leave you alone now. Let you get back to going home and studying. I'm sure you got a lot of homework yeah. to do, don't you? Yeah, a lot. Senior season going all right for yes, you. Sir. Books, going great. books good and everything. Yes, sir. All right, wonderful. So, well, we're gonna get out of here. Um, I appreciate your time today, Ryan. Um, he'll be in Worth County Friday night, wreaking havoc on the uh, Worth County Rams defense. So, uh, get over there early and get your ticket. And we we should carry a big crowd over there. Yes, we're sir. we're two and zero to start the season. And uh, we're going to make it three this Friday night. So uh, we'll see you all in Worth County. Uh, I'm Randy Meadows for the Devil's Lair, and uh, this is Ryan Wedgworth. Go see him play.